Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to talk about synthetic biology. This is the next step in genetic engineering and involves the redesign of existing life for new purposes, as well as the creation of entirely new living things. For several decades, genetic modification or GM technologies have been used to remove genes from one species and splice them into the DNA of another. This has allowed the creation of transgenic plants, animals and microorganisms with new and improved characteristics. However, the focus in GM has always been the alteration of an existing form of life. In contrast, synthetic biology assembles novel living systems from a set of standardised genetic parts. Just as, a century ago, electrical engineering grew out of physics, so today, synthetic biology is emerging out of the traditional biosciences. To help further distinguish synthetic biology from genetic modification, let's imagine how in future either may be applied to make an improved wooden building. On the one hand, a future genetic engineer may take an acorn and modify it slightly to grow into a better oak tree. This would then be cut down to make the joists and planks from which an improved wooden house would be constructed. On the other hand, a future synthetic biologist may decide to artificially reprogram an acorn's genetic code so that it grew directly into a bio-building. This far more radical approach would biologically alter the acorn to perform a different function and would remove the need for traditional construction. Nobody has yet reprogrammed an acorn to grow into a bio-building. However, in 2010, the J. Craig Venter Institute did create the first ever entirely synthetic life form. Nicknamed Cynthia, this single-celled organism was based on an existing bacterium. However, at its core was an entirely synthetic genome created in the laboratory. Cynthia's DNA even included watermarks that spelled out an email address. Already, there are online catalogues of synthetic biology components. Biobrick construction kits can also be ordered via the web. Synthetic biologists can therefore design new living systems at their keyboards and obtain the required parts in the same manner that most of us purchase online groceries. In the future, creating designer life may even become as easy as mashing web services or installing a few apps. Synthetic biology is likely to be used in a wide range of industries. For example, new biomedicines may be created, with scientists already using synthetic biology to create a new low-cost treatment for malaria. Synthetic biochemicals are now also in development, including an improved version of the bioplastic polylactic acid or PLA. Synthetic biologists are also already working to create advanced third-generation biofuels. Finally, synthetic bioelectronics are also a possibility and as I envisaged in my biocomputer unboxing video. As engineers build new life, with their growing toolkit of genetic Lego, so a great many incredible possibilities will present themselves. However, in parallel, many concerns are also likely to be raised. For more information, please see explainingthefuture.com. But now that's it for another video, and remember, the future is in your hands.